According to the board, which questions would you like done from 20 to 24? So are you there? Do we have any from 20 to 24? 23 to 26. Is there anything? Uh, do you, I might want 23 done. Yeah. Okay, 23 can be done, okay? Now, will somebody please also take a note of the questions I'm doing today so we can put them in the video form? 23. Now, there's a formula for AQ plus BQ. Can anybody tell me what the formula for AQ plus BQ is? Anybody tell? A plus B. Uh, a squared minus plus B squared. Okay, that's that part done. Then, what about the bottom? We've got to factorise this. Does anybody recognise that one? Now, does anybody recognise what this is? It's basically, uh, it is the other half of that. Oh, it is. Perfect. So now all we got to do is divide a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now what cancels? The whole thing cancels. So example would be, oh, that, that. the whole thing is that cancels with that. And what's left over? a plus b. Everybody happy with that one? Okay. Grant. Okay, guys. Uh, what's the next one you want me to do? 26. All right, so we have number 26 here, okay? So I'll try 26 out for you now. Should be a, there we go, 26, okay? So with number 26, we got to do a reference number, don't we? What's the reference number for, for a, uh, x squared plus ax plus 15? Anybody tell me? Anybody know the reference number for that? X plus 3 and X plus 5. Does everybody remember how to do that? We did some the last day, didn't we? The reference number was 15, and then what two numbers multiply to give you 15, but add together to give you 8, 5, and 3. Okay, what about the bottom? Uh, we go for James. Where are you, James? James, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, James, I'll do x squared minus 9. What's that change with it? Uh, x minus 3 by yeah. x plus 3. Yeah, you are right. x minus 3 and x plus 3. Okay, so that's gone down here. x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, and the out. Now, plus. Okay, what was this one here, uh, Dara? What can you take out the two of them? Uh, and then you're left with x plus 5. Okay. And then on the bottom here, x, yeah, and you're left with x minus 3. Now, guys, it's unusual, alright? This is unusual. I'm going to explain why. I'm not allowed, uh, at the moment they don't have the same denominator, do they? So, yes? Divided by the oh, is it divided by the question? Oh, perfect, sorry, excuse me. It is divided by the question, okay? So that, that actually changes what I was about to say. So, let's make that division sign there, okay? So, it's actually divided, excuse me. Now, what happens when you're divided by a fraction, can anybody remember? Second one upside down. Second one upside down, fair enough. So we're going to get x bracket uh, x minus 3 all over y bracket uh, x plus 5. And then on this one we're going to have uh, x plus 3, x plus 5. And then on the bottom here we're going to have x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, now what can I do here guys? Anything we can cancel? <coughs> x plus 3 will cancel with the other x plus 3. Anything else? X plus 5. X plus 5 cancels with x plus 5 down there. Anything else? And then what we left with? x over y. Now, a hypothetical question for you. Okay. And what oh, I mean by hypothetical is I'm just going to design a question purposely to see if 
uh, this is usually one of the biggest misunderstandings that happens with uh, four tiers coming in is that you, you don't know uh, basically something like this, I'll make it up now for you, right? So if I had something like this, x, x and x plus 3, okay, then something like uh, y and x minus 5, plus x minus 5, I don't know, 6 times x minus 5 all over y times x plus 3. Is there anything that will cross off this time? Is there anything that will cross off? Now, some people would say this. Yeah? It's not allowed. Can anybody tell me why? Yes? Yeah, you're not multiplying. You're not multiplying. It's a big plus in the middle. And what's the only way you can do? So, it's basically what is the difference between this 3 fifths plus 5 over 3 or 3 fifths multiplied by 5 over 3? When you multiply 3 fifths by 5 over 3, what happens? 5 cancel 5, 3 cancel 3, your answer is 1. When you add them, you have to get a lowest common denominator. You'd multiply the top and bottom of this one by 5, the top and bottom of this one by 3, and then what you'd get there is you'd get 9 fifteenths plus 25 over 15, and the answer would be 34 over 15. What I'm trying to what well, I'm really trying to be home here is the difference between multiplying fractions and adding fractions. It doesn't matter that there's letters involved, the same procedure still needs to be followed. Okay? And what type is this one here? It's multiplying fractions, isn't it? And that's why we're now cross off everything. Is everybody on board with that? Okay, if you're not, uh, now it's time to ask questions. I can pause. Nothing has to be recorded. Okay, no questions really. Okay, perfect. It's good. Okay, guys, what's my next question then? I've done, uh, what have I done so far? 26 and 23. What's my next one? I've done 26 and 23. What do I have next to do? Anything here? No. Anything here? 29. Are you sure we don't want anything done 29? Number 10. Thank you. 29 part 10? Perfect, thank you. Any other ones? The you are encouraged to ask if you got it wrong. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, Alan Clark, any idea of what you do with this one? It says factorize each of the following. Uh, <coughs> you move it around. Yeah, and before you move it around, you gotta multiply this one now. Uh, three, now, once you've done that, what do you do now? You said you have to move it around, so which one would you move where? I uh, can move A, B to just in front of A squared. In front of the A squared? Okay. And leave everything else the same, is it? Did I take something? No, oh, my, it's my... It, okay, sorry? No, you need to go, right? No, put A squared in front of AB. Okay, put A squared in front of AB. And see the way A is leaving B? Yeah. Maybe you should do the same thing here. Yeah, okay. And then minus 3A plus 3B. Now, what you do next? Take out A. Okay, and you're left with? Uh, A minus B. Yeah. And you have A minus B in the next one. Yeah, and your answer? Uh, A minus 3. Okay, A minus 3 and A minus B. Okay, guys. Oh, no. No. Be grand. It's really easy then. Okay, guys. Now, I have to factorize this. Now, the way I recognize this question is this is a factorized question. I would have said it in the, uh, in the description of the page, where right? So it says factorize. Um, so that means we've done, uh, so far I've done 19, 23, 29, 26, okay? Now, what I do here is I recognize that 216 is a cube root question, 6 cubed. If I didn't know that, what I could obviously do is I could go to my calculator, I could press the, uh, the shift cube root button and then put in 216, like so, okay? And then you get 6, okay? 
where it's a bit easy. Now all of a sudden what we're doing here is uh, 6 cubed minus x cubed. I need to look up what is the equivalent formula. Actually the whole point is I actually can't look it up because I'm meant to have learned a lot by heart. That's going to be a minus b bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared. Close bracket. a is represented by 6, b is represented by x. So with that logic we're going to get 6 minus x bracket 36 plus 6x plus x squared. Okay, any questions about that one? Happy enough? Okay. Now, 216 minus x cubed. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to do uh, number 33. So we need to go up one. This is 33 here. Okay, which part of 33 would you like done? Part 2. So I'm going for part 2 and what other part? There must be another one, surely. 2 and 4, okay. Now, look at number 2, taking reference number, okay? Definitely a reference number. Reference number there is going to be anybody know? Minus 60. Now, I showed you the shortcut way. The shortcut way is going to be a 2x here, x here, multiply in, multiply in here. Now what, what do we break 60 up into? Can anybody tell me? So that's separated by 4. 6 and 10. Now which one needs to be positive? 10 needs to be positive and 6 is negative. Okay, 2 multiplied by what? will give you uh, 2 multiplied by what will give you 10? 5. That's plus 5. 2x multiplied by 5 gives you 10x. What multiplied by x will give you the minus 6? And what's minus 6 multiplied by 5? Minus. So it will multiply out correctly. For those of you still on the reference number, which is okay, you're going to get 2x squared uh, minus 6x plus 10x minus 60. You're going to factorize. I think that's right anyway, is it? Oh, that's a minus 30. 30, guys. Okay. Then we're going to get 2x into x minus 3 plus 10. Oh, not 10. What is it? 6, isn't it? Uh, so what did I do here? That's a minus 30, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, let me show you what happens here. Yeah. Okay, so that is a... Uh, that's technically 10, isn't it? Uh, that's 30, yeah? And that's going to be 10 into, 10 into what guys? Now guys, there's something odd here. That is not the same answer we got last time, is it? Well, believe it or not, it is. But it's a weird one. Let me show you why it's weird. What number can we factorize out the two it is? Sorry? Two. two. 2 into x minus 3 into x plus 5. We weren't fully factorized there. And what about here? 2 into x plus 5, x minus 3. Do you see that? So that's, that's fully factorized now. So this, in the end, turns out to be 2 bracket x plus 5 x minus 3. Realistically, we took it, should have taken out the 2 to begin with and then factorized this one here. <coughs> Does everybody understand that? We didn't realize that you could take 2 out. We should have just taken 2 out at the start. All right. And what's on the bottom? x minus 3. And then any cancellations? Answer is 2 and 2. x plus 5. Any questions on that one? Alright, we go again. 
Okay, can I move on to the next one? Okay, and the next one is uh, number 33 part 4. Any suggestions on that, Jack? 33 part 4? Minus 12, okay. Minus 3 and plus 4. Minus 3 and plus 4. Perfect. Now, what number does 3x multiply by to give you minus 3? Minus 1, yeah? 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And what number will x multiply by to give you plus 4? x. So that's your factorising done there, yeah? Or you could do the reference number, whatever you want. Now, you're going to get a 3x plus 4, x minus 1. What about this one here, a uh, loop? Uh, squared. 3x squared minus, uh, and then finish it off. 3x plus 4, yeah? 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4. Okay? 3x plus 4. 3x minus 4. And then after that, what, what happens? What do we get? x minus 1 over 3x minus 4. x minus 1 divided by 3x minus 4. 